Well, now for more reaction to this, I'm joined by the South African National Defence Union spokesperson. This is Piki Khrif. Um, Piki, we'll just be speaking to the communications uh, uh, head of the Department of Defence, who says that no permission was given. However, reports are coming through that the Indian High Commission is the one that gave permission for the Gupta family to land their family members at Vatikov Air Force Base, which is a strategic point in the, in the country and ideally used for government officials as well as high-level delegations coming through from overseas. Is there something wrong here? Well, uh, one would say that on face value there is obviously something wrong. Firstly, uh, it is beyond comprehension how the Indian High Commission could give permission for the use of a military facility that's under the command and control of the South African National Defence Force. What is more worrisome is that apparently the leadership of the South African National Defence Force are not even aware of this permission that has been given on one of their facilities. And uh, I think it also needs to be pointed out that the Watercliff Air Force Base uh, facilities for incoming passengers are mainly restricted to diplomatic personnel moving through there. So there's also a huge question mark that if there are private individuals involved, are they legally in this country at this stage? Vicky, when you look at the entire process here and what, what, what has happened here, it is, 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 it's, it is a bit unusual for, for the Gupta family to have been granted permission to land their guests at, a, at, at such a strategic point, and then for the De Department of Defense to say they know nothing about it. Well, I don't only think it's unusual, uh, it's certainly a, a precedent that I have never seen before. It's unprecedented, in fact. Uh, I don't know of any rule in the military that allows individuals to use military facilities, and especially not a key, a national key point, such as the Waterkloof Air Force Base. Uh, and as I said already, the fact that the military command doesn't even seem to know about this arrangement is more worrisome. We must remember that those planes are going to remain on those landing strips there, they need to be protected by uh, Defence Force members. The thorough through of personnel will be dealt with by Defence Force members. So we've just managed to keep busy almost 600 Air Force and Defence Force members uh, on what is essentially a private affair. Also something quite interesting is the fact that the permissions were applied for and granted to the Indian High Commission and not necessarily the family. And it looks like there's a possibility that there were many members or many guests that arrived with the family and not necessarily coming through on, on government business or as guests of the Indian High Commission. So once again, that seems to be a problem. Well, that would be a problem, and uh, one would seriously question uh, the credentials of their legality in this country uh, if now any individual can be allowed through a high commission to enter this country at a national key point being a military facility, then what kind of precedent does that create? It also creates, of course, the additional problem that military members in the SNDF are told continuously not to abuse, abuse state property, which is understandable, but yet right in front of their very eyes, uh, there seems to be open abuse of these facilities by... Uh, uh, associates of the Commander-in-Chief of the SANDF. Question comes into play here that uh, if the Indian High Commission has asked for this permission, um, why doesn't the National Defence uh, Force know, first of all? And secondly, uh, are they allowed to bring in private individuals to be able to come onto our shores without having gone through the necessary procedure? Or is there something where you've got a possibility that favours are being done for or the Gupta family has been treated specially um, for a matter like this? Well, I'm afraid if one looks at the facts on face value as it stands at this stage, the conclusion is inescapable that uh, certain uh, uh, favours are being done for the Gupta family. Uh, it is, of course, extremely worrisome that the uh, SNDF command seems to be completely out of the loop. And yet again, it, it is uh, uh, another example of how the SNDF command is seemingly just being railroaded by the political masters uh, in power of this country. Becky, let's take a look at, uh, through your experience, what is the normal procedure and uh, what, what is supposed to happen in the right manner and who is allowed to land on these shores at the Vartopkloof um, Air Force Base? Well, as I stated, the Vartopkloof Air Force Base is a military facility. Uh, it is there for the use of uh, diplomatic personnel with proper diplomatic credentials that are on official state business uh, with South Africa or on official state business uh, on a, uh, uh, representing their own countries or states uh, with the necessary permission. Uh, as we understand it, these people are all on their way to a private function, so it cannot be interpreted as official business in any way or form. Uh, and the only facilities that is at Watercliff Air Force Base for thorough of, of, of uh, personnel or passengers is, as I said, diplomatic uh, passengers. Uh, there is no provision that I am aware of or some 
Sandhu is aware of, that private individuals can obtain permission to enter through Water, Watercliff Air Force Base into this country. Uh, that's why there are private air force, uh, airports such as Lanseria and, and Oartambo, etc. Well, thank you very much. That was South African National Defence Union spokesperson, Vicky Khriyev. News that moves. ENCA.com.